Sorry, my bad. I just remembered that um, I might have one or two points on single motherhood in Africa. And I think like sometimes single motherhood in Africa is somehow easy. Somehow, not at all times, but somehow it's easy, especially if you have your parents living with you in the same city, they tend to help you or come through for you. If not, if you have um, very nice neighbors, they can always support you here and there during this uh, circumstance or during this journey. Also, uh, some people do employ housemaids who take care of their children, but this is only for people who can afford. For people who cannot afford, it beca definitely becomes so stressful in terms of finances. So it, most of these parents are always in poverty and stuff. But some of them, they really have good jobs and they really take care of themselves. So um, it actually depends with your situation. But in Germany, usually they, the government comes through for you, you understand? But even though they come through for you, but you still lack in some way, but not so much. You can still live comfortably. And like in Africa, if you don't have, you don't have. And it's really stressful. So in Africa, I know that some people employ housemates. Some people or are employ uh sorry some people employ housemates some people they are helped by their families and some people are the neighbors are so good and they take care of each other like uh, a community so raising a child is usually by through uh, by a community sorry so yeah um i just wanted to clarify that point <laughs> hello beautiful people welcome to a new vlog of miss adino if you're new here welcome on board uh, today we are going to be talking about ways of embracing single motherhood single motherhood is not always easy but it's definitely rewarding so remember um uh, we don't choose to be single mothers situations happen to be and that's how we end up being single mothers but um remember the journey is always non-negotiable also remember to prioritize on yourself so that you can become the best parent that you can be to your child you know um i'm going to be talking about these ways of embracing single motherhood because i have been through the same experience and so i think like i have learned so much and I have developed so much patience through this journey. Point number one, I would like to advise you that if you're going through single motherhood, make sure that you engage yourself with other single mothers. And this can be through groups or activities and um, organizations. So these groups, you can always find them online. Organizations here in Germany, we do have organizations. I'm going to talk about Germany because I do not know what goes on with single parents in Africa mostly. But I know that most of them are usually with their family members, so they get enough help as they can. But unless the parents are in a different city, but they can always depend on the neighbor also. But here in Germany, remember you are by yourself most of the times. And since it's always difficult to create friends, but I'm still going to talk about that. Let me just get to this point first. So if you're a single mother, there is a lot of uh, groups that we have in Germany, like online. This you'll find on Facebook. Or you can go to Diakoni and register with them because they usually have groups of single mothers who go there and do activities together. They have uh, organizations like uh, Diakoni, Frauen Pref, Frauen Beratum that also will help single mothers to go through their daily activities and seek help whenever they need the help. And then point number two is that um, as a single mother, there is some, uh, when you come across, I know some Africans are not so friendly here in Germany but what you can do you can't always find that everyone is not friendly so those that you find friendly you can always engage with them become friends get to know each other develop a close relationship if you can so that both of you can always help each other and sometimes you can find a single parent like you so that you also are there for each other you understand and it becomes easy because both of you can always relate as per your situation so another point is that once you build this friendship, always feel free to share with them what you think or the problems or the stress that you're going through. Yes, you might not share so much deep details because you never know who can turn against you. But when it comes to single motherhood, only share about single motherhood. The experiences of raising a child, your personal issues, you can always keep them to yourself. 
but i'm for sharing the stresses that you're going through because it can always help you maybe when you need to go somewhere and you don't want to go with the child you can always leave your child with them and do your activities or if you're in a good relationship with the father of your child then you can definitely always leave your child with the father of your child with the with the father and then you can do your things but for those who are always in a situation whereby it's so tough for them with the father of their children or they don't know who the father of their children is then you can always create a good circle of friends so that you can always uh, have a shoulder to lean on whenever you need help there is also a mutakua mutakua i don't know how to call it it's like a mother and child um mother and child relaxation whereby you go to your doctor and tell them that you're so frustrated about being a parent like you're so overwhelmed and you're having a lot of stress and you can't anymore you need a break of being uh, from being a parent like you need to be in a new environment and then they will definitely write you a shine and this shine you can always take it to the insurance people whereby they will check for you if there's any spaces available and what area that are free and all that and then they will always get back to you and tell you that okay we found this and this the available dates are like this and then they pay for your holiday you can always go and relax and during this um motor core there's always activities that you people do as parents alone and as children alone and then later on there is mother and child uh coming together and then yeah spending time together also make sure that you're always um going for uh, somewhere you know like you can always leave the city that you are living in go and relax enjoy a different environment come back with the energy and continue the journey if you don't want to do so with your child you can always leave your child with whoever cl a close friend that you have so that they can take care of them and then you go you can also seek psychological help financial help whenever you need it the good thing with germany you can always seek help with the government and tell them that the money is not enough and you need more or they need uh, you, you need assistance raising your child and they're always there for you you won't even have to ask because this is the law so um it's more advantageous here because uh, i'll be doing that another video of that on the benefits of being a single mother in germany not encouraging but i'm going to be talking about the benefits that you get being a single mother on another video so usually you don't have to go and go through so much you understand it's usually um stressful but remember if you take care of yourself then you pile up the good energy and you can always raise your child in a good way and single mother will also teach your patience and um and a lot so do not feel overwhelmed just be free relax yourself find help whenever you need it because single motherhood is not a shame so we've come to the end of the video if you like the video please click on the like button subscribe comment and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video i'm going to be doing another two videos discussing about the life of a single motherhood in germany so stay tuned bye guys